I guess we found out what that all that's all about. They promised me so much. Hey, it's this thing. What am I shooting at? This thing dodges like crazy. Okay, I kind of hit on the head. I wonder if there's some more uh, armor around somewhere. Oh shit! Okay, you know what? That thing's useless to me now. Fuck that thing. Alright, that's uh, Killing Demons Drops Armor? No, let's do Saving Throw. And this one... Uh... Effectiveness of... Uh... uh yeah, so I think this, thing, this shit's all useless to me now. I think this is final boss, so... Might as well get something that's uh, useful. I guess increase the effectiveness of ar ar armor. I, I, let's, let's try, uh... Eat Holoduke. Oh shit. Actually, fuck this. Guess the guy just hit in the brain. Fuck, it went, it went upside down, that's not fair. Where's your weak point? Oh, engine has crashed. Uh, good, good time for that, thank you. Right, it's about where I left off last time. Oh my god, she fucking dodged it. Oh shit, I think it's fine. Oh shit, I fell off it because the railgun put me back. It's a very odd boss fight, I'll tell you that. I think I got one more BFG round in me. I fucking missed again. There's another BFG round behind her, though. Ah, I keep missing. She was a brain bug the entire time. The fuck is- she's- she's fucking sighing me.
It's over. You stopped the invasion and closed the portal. But it's come at a price. Argent. Vega. This entire operation. You see, I've watched you work. Come to understand your motivation. You think the only way is to kill them all. Leave nothing behind. Then you may be right. But we can't just shut it all down. Without Argent Energy, it will be worse. I don't expect you to agree. But with this, we can continue our work. I am not the villain in this story. I do what I do because there is no choice. Rerouting tether coordinates complete. Our time is up. I can't kill you, but I won't have you standing in our way. Until we see each other again.
That was really good credit sequence. I, I started by talking over it, and then I was kind of like, this is actually really good. I don't want to talk over this. So I, I just cut out my initial bitching about certain things in the game, things like that. Um, so what do I think about the game? Very, very, very good. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best, uh, but I would say it's very good. It's very up there, kind of like upper 90%. Um, it still had a couple things that annoyed me, uh, mostly with regarding... Um, I, I really didn't care much for all the challenges that they put in, like all this metagaming stuff. I fucking... I think they should have just left it out. Um, like all this upgrade grinding and stuff and like kill 200 enemies with this. Gather a bunch of armor. Or like, you know, kill three enemies in it with a grenade. You know, I just... I did not care at all for that and I just kind of gave up on doing them all after a certain point because like there's always some completionist that will always want to do it all. And like I started out by doing it all, and then I was kind of like I more and more it kind of just kind of became dif disenfranchised with it. I'm like, it's not challenging. It's just you know you gotta set it up, and it's annoying, and I don't know. I guess someone out there gets a great sense of completion with that kind of stuff. So good for them. Um, and yeah, that, that credit sequence, by the way, that's the best I've ever seen in any game I think I've ever done. That was really well done. Uh, I have to say. Um, the thing I really liked was the gunplay. Uh, the level design was, I'd say, above average. Um, it was still fairly linear, but you did have a lot of places to jump around to and gather armor and things like that. Um, so I, 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 I'm saying above average because I wasn't like the best I've ever seen, but it still wasn't bad. Usually when I play games, and the level design is actually pretty average or pretty bad. I'm saying above average, so that's it's. I'm praising it. It's it's good. Um, as I said, I, I, I wasn't a fan of just the kind of the grindy shit that they had. If if the game if the game was modded to not have that, I would definitely replay it more. I, I do definitely see this as a like a replayable game. It's really good. Um, I am honestly surprised that the multiplayer was so goddamn terrible. Uh, that that was actually really surprising to me. Like I I tried it and I'm like shit. This is gonna be just another fucking basically like console port shit because that's essentially what the the multiplayer feels like it's just some like two weapon limit thing with like but apparently it was like designed by some people who did like the halo multiplayer or something they outsourced it so that's kind of the way why it is that's why it's the way it is but like i don't know why then they put so much uh, emphasis on it like they we heard nothing about the single player until kind of it came the game came out and it's like oh wait this isn't so bad you know it's pretty good so overall i think the game is very good um it's not perfect, as I said. It's got its it's got its gripes. Didn't exactly run the best on my computer, uh, and so that's you know I, I don't want to talk too much about that because that's probably gonna make me more pissy and moany about it. But I, that wasn't making me happy near the end, like getting like a crash in the middle of the boss fight and things like that. Ugh. But I, I I I said at the beginning, I said my computer is showing its age, and I probably gonna be in the market for I don't know an upgrade probably in the next year. Um, this is like the, the, the one thing that came out apparently this year that this is the first thing I think my computer hasn't been able to run on highest because usually everything runs on like some engine or something I can run on at least high and that's fine. But this one was uh, something, a whole new level. So, uh, the game's length, was, the game's length was decent enough. Uh, and I can see it having replayability. This game also has, uh, so, uh, I've already touched upon the multiplayer. It's absolute dog shit like it's fucking trash would not even try it i don't even know why they fucking they, they even put it in but whatever they outsourced it whatever it's fine i guess uh, you know you can say doom isn't really known for its multiplayer it kind of isn't it was known for it's like uh during a very brief period with office lands people loved to do uh doom multiplayer um but it's basically like halo and even like kind of more casualized dumbed down than halo that is because you're like you'll you'll be like it's not like your fast-paced kind of arena gameplay. They, they, they kind of were trying to say it was, but it, it really isn't. It's kind of like uh, people get a lot, bunch of weird overpowered sh like power-up shit, and then they go run around and like, oh, I died. To it's basically one of those games where you like you die to stuff. You don't really know why, and you just have to accept it kind of a thing. And so like you know, someone just gets some kind of weird demon power-up, and then, like, oh, you're, the health you've been stacking the entire time is absolutely useless, so... This is not even the same in the realm of any kind of multiplayer shooter I would ever play for any significant portion of time. So that's out. Um, 
but regarding the single player, single player was very good. Uh, so, you know, that's definitely worth kind of picking it up for if you're into that when maybe the price drops a bit. Cause right now in Canada, it's like $80. So, uh, and I can only tell you about my, apparently Canada isn't real in a real country. So in terms of its money, uh, so there's that, I mean, I, I was, it was gifted to me. So thank you again to that guy. But, um, as I said, it, it would have been still something I would have picked up regardless of like how I feel about it now. I would have picked it up at a sale sometime. Uh, it's just too much money to ask for for a single player experience. Oh, there is Snap Map, which I've also tried a little bit, and that one that was okay as well. Um, it wasn't phenomenal. Uh, some people have done some neat shit with it. Uh, basically, Snap Map is kind of like their. They basically made it more kind of um accessible I, I i shouldn't say dumbed down it, it seems like you can do a little bit of good stuff with it but it's it's not like all the powerful tools it's like it seems like to be something that anyone can pick up and they can make a map out of it that's what i think their goal was uh so they have like a they have that for it i don't know if there's any other modding tools for this game uh, i definitely like to mod out the, from the single player all that fucking like kill five enemies kill this many enemies kill this kill that kind of shit like that was just kind of whatever. Um, the se the secrets were kind of annoying just to have to like, cause I, I constantly get, kept getting like locked out of pro like going back. I don't know why they didn't let you backtrack. That really makes no sense. It's just arbitrarily. Hey, you can't jump back to the door. You fell down from, Oh, Hey, you can't. And that, that seems like it's that it was just, uh, I don't know. I, I as I said, I'm not much of a guy for secrets and things like that, but that really made me like, kind of like oh why can't i explore the map why can't i go back why can't i do this you know it's just that was probably the that's why i'm saying that the level design was just above average because there was a lot of like when you wanted to go back it didn't let you do what you wanted to do um the game at the end kind of devolved into like big arenas which was kind of neat it was it was good enough uh for me uh even though, like, uh, there was one particular arena with the train at the end where I really didn't like that because I was constantly getting hit by things. Uh, and I, I was not getting the feet. Uh, to be honest, at the time, it was kind of, like, st stuttering as well. So I can't really say a whole lot about that. Uh, like, it's just... It was a combination of just... I was irritated because of stuttering. Uh, and as I said, I think that all the performance optimizations were not really done for the end. So I can kind of see why maybe the game was having it difficulty later um running on my pc as i said i'll upgrade my pc at some point so uh yeah i think it, i think it was pretty good overall um the weapons were pretty good the gunplay was on uh, spot on but i would say that you know that the some of the guns were kind of fell off a little later because i like oh yeah that overpowered ass upgrade I, I i picked up that and then i used nothing but that goss rifle for like a good part of the end of the game because I'm like why use anything else but I think that like in in retrospect I think like maybe the um the chain gun and that assault rifle weren't that great the rocket launch was okay as well I think it was just like a bunch of other weapons like the super shotgun and stuff I was really much more into and I felt that they were much more effective uh but that's just up to me um the inclusion of equipment in the game like grenades and stuff I think was completely unnecessary um I don't feel it added a lot either. I, I, I kind of, it's like what I said earlier on. I didn't use it most of the time. It was just kind of there. And like I could have used it more possibly, but I, I didn't feel it felt into, I didn't, I, I, I didn't think it fell into like the, what I was trying to do in the game anyways. Cause I was just like running around with the railgun constantly just shooting shit. Um, yeah. And with that being said, uh, yeah, those grenades were kind of like, I, you know what? I, I'll say that, like, compared to, comparatively from Doom 3 to Doom 4, it's a, it was a step in the right direction. It definitely was. They did a good job with that. Um, you're, they're not quite there yet in terms of making, like, a really great classic Doom game that we've always wanted. They, they've, oh, they're almost there, like 90% there, I would say. And there's that last 10%. They just couldn't get rid of, like, some of this like stupid collection shit they can't get rid of like they can't make their level design kind of like really on like spot on uh i'm not sure about the modability i can't really talk about that but there's just a couple of gripes where i'm just like 
you know, overall, yeah, I'd would, I would play it again, and I think it would be great. I think it's great, but I think that there's a little bit there that was missing that it just annoys you just enough to say, you know, it was great, but it wasn't probably the best it could have been. Um, and 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 it's, as I say, it's just that ten percent. I think that was kind of like there, but it like it's saying a lot that like ninety percent of the game was really great and went into into a really positive direction with the entire series, which actually now makes me interested for Quake Five. Because um, Quake Four essentially was to, it was basically the same as like Doom Three in the sense of it, the entire series went into a bad direction, uh, and then Doom Five or Doom Two Thousand Sixteen ends up being going into the correct direction, and they're apparently working on a Quake Five right now. So, and that's more known for the multiplayer. So that's actually going to be super interesting to see what they do with that. But Quake also had a really good single player. But I'm interested now to see what they do with that. Because uh, this isn't a Carmack game anymore. Uh, so Carmack isn't involved, but they still managed to do some neat things with it. And um, I'm actually kind of impressed with that, with regards to that. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so Doom 3 to Doom 2016. I'm going to just call it Doom 4. Who cares? Um, so yeah, definitely step way step in the, in the right direction. Uh, as I said, uh, not, pro- not all the way there from probably what we'd like to see. But well, let's not discourage it. Let's say definitely good, a good step in the right direction. Um, so they, they just removed the kind of the pop scares. They just did like rip and tear, go, 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 go crazy, have fun. It was great for that. Um, can't really complain. As I said, for, now going from Doom 1, Doom 2 to Doom 4, this is kind of like, I think one of those things where like, uh, there's probably like people that have never played Doom 1 and 2, uh, even though I co-opted it with my good buddies, uh, Wiki and Ken. Um, like I have played Doom 1 and 2 before I even did it for youtube but i guess now anyone who hasn't done that they can kind of get a taste for it in like kind of like a more modern engine setting because like not everybody can set up and is really interested in necessarily starting up uh a now like 20 year old game uh and 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 loading that up and playing with their uh just playing by themselves and kind of like lo- lo- learning that around there so we now kind of have as i said um a modern version of I guess Doom One and Two, um, in a way, it's its own thing. It's kind of a little bit more on the linear side, but it's the closest in terms of the gameplay that we're ever going to get. I think right now, um, and that's definitely really good. Uh, so I'm I'm happy to see that they actually managed to make gameplay that wasn't total trash. Um, so let's uh, let's actually take a look at what those classic maps are. I'm going to probably load one up, see if it's anything I'm going to bother with. Um, it probably won't be, but if I think it is what I think it is, I haven't actually looked at it yet. And then we'll we'll have a look at that. Um, but yeah, I, I as I said, overall, I think it's really good. I liked it. All right, so let's go. So we have Snap Map. I don't know if I'm going to touch upon that at all. Um, that's a maybe. I'll ask Wiki or something if he wants to go through that. Uh, so let's go here. I think it's uh, Classic Maps. Let's try Hangar. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. I'll just do one level. Actually, this is even worse than I thought it was going to be. This is no enemies. So, they just kind of remade the... Uh... I, ju- I can jump in these levels, though. There's, like, no enemies. I, I thought there would at least be enemies. So, in case you were wondering what this kind of shit is... There you go, you get a taste of it. Do you get any weapons? No. I only get the pistol too. But I'm just gonna go straight to the end, I don't even care to find them. All the other shit. We did it guys. We beat a classic Duma wall. Okay, I'm not touching those over again. That's pretty much it for that. Uh, we get like to look at our collectibles. Apparently, I missed like three of them or something. I don't fucking know why. But yeah, there, there's a, there's more than enough content in this game uh, to keep you 
satisfied. And there's always uh, Nightmare Difficulty, which, as I said, I'll still probably try it at some point, but I'm going to give it a break for a bit. As I said, it's a, it's a good game. I liked it. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed the series, and uh, take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>